Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today I'm going to do a short video per request from some of my subscribers as far as uh, my Just Dave guitar collection. So I'm going to try my best to walk you through quickly so far what I've purchased from Just Dave. Because again, Dave makes some really good guitars, and what I like about it is you can basically get what you want as far as design you know so uh as far as design on the body you know so what we've been doing late is kind of like a thing to each guitar and my latest one is called felix which is for felix the cat and it's a really nice stratocaster or should i say a, a really nice squire it's the squire body because here's the, the the story on this guitar i bought the body from somebody off of ebay because i had a couple of necks and, uh, of course, I know nothing about putting guitars together. And uh, I learned my lesson when I attempted to do that because I just thought it was just real simple. Uh, get a body, get a neck, and put it on there, and put strings on it, and you're done. A whole lot of work goes into that, and Dave does a good job. So uh, I was literally going to just basically, after I attempted to put the uh, neck on this guitar and I failed terribly, I was just going to throw the body in the garbage. So I was like, I'm not going to buy another uh, neck or trying to send it somewhere. So I was just going to toss it. But, you know, when I actually, when I met Dave, uh, you know, I was able to uh, bring some of these guitars, or literally bring them back to life, because uh, I sent Dave the body. He put the neck on there, and, uh, you know, we did the design, and uh, this thing play, plays great. The action on this thing is just incredible, because uh, how you know you got really good action on your guitars when you can play your guitar without a pick? You know, when you can do that without any problems or the strings are real high and it's, you know, it's just uncomfortable. Because I believe John Mayer guitars, are, the action are extremely low because I see him a lot of times just picking. You know, not even using the pick, just using his, you know, his hands to kind of pick the strings. And you can only do that when your action is extremely low. And the action on this guitar is extremely low. And as you can see, it's a beautiful guitar. You know, Dave did a great job. So that was the last one. That was the last one. The next to last one is uh, one of my favorites. You know, I thought about uh, getting a guitar that has the musical notes. So I, you know, expressed that to Dave. Dave said, not a problem. I can do that. Told him what I wanted as far as color pickups, the pearl pick guard. Because I just didn't visualize this guitar and he brought it to life. Uh, <clears throat> the neck on this thing is really good too. Uh, it feels good to play and uh, it's just a beautiful guitar. and has a really nice good tone to it. So this is the musical note guitar. And this is one that I tend to play more than, than most other guitars that I have. Uh, just for some reason, it just feels good to me. And, uh, you know, when we did the black and white buddy guy thing, I thought about it. So we just basically kind of recreated already somebody else's idea. I said, what about if we just flip it? You know, instead of it being black with white dots, how about it being white with black dots? You know, so uh, one of my subscribers, uh, Old School Funk, uh, named it Dalmatian. And it fits the name. And uh, the neck on these guitars that Dave make are just really nice. I mean, they just feel good to play. And what I like about the, the, the guitars that Dave, you know, make for me, uh, none of them really sound the same. You know, and uh, he kept that in mind when he was, you know, building them for me as far as, well, you know, I want to send him the same sounding guitar that just looks different. Because, you know, most Strats kind of had that high-end bright tone. This one kind of has like a mid-range, mid-warm type of tone. So I tend to, you know, use this one more than, than the black and white. But I, the black and white is good too. But this one just has a different tone to it. And I like just the feel of the neck. This was one of the first ones that Dave uh, sold me. Actually, I believe it's not, if I'm not mistaken, it is the very first one. And I was just taken by its beauty because I really never had a natural finished guitar. And this thing is just, it's just, it's just, it's beautiful. I mean, uh, the video just doesn't do it justice, but you know, the pick guard, the pickups, the knobs, uh, the neck, you know, uh, he told me it's not rosewood. I think he said it's mahogany. But uh, it feels good, looks good. Uh, 
Okay, and this is kind of the first one that started the designer guitars as far as, uh, you know, I like to try to, you know, create, or can you do a certain design for me, you know. This is the very first one he did as far as on the lines of creating a unique looking guitar. And, uh, you know, Davis, like me, he's a perfectionist because the first time that he attempted to do the, the, the dot thing, he wasn't totally pleased. And he said, if you don't like it, send it back. And I'm sure I wasn't going to send it back when I got it. So when I got it, when I put it out of the case or out of the, out of the, the boxing, I immediately noticed that the weight to it. You know, it feels like an American-made strap because most American-made strap versus squires, they get, they're heavier. And uh, when I pulled it out of the box, it felt really heavy, but not heavy in a bad sense. And uh, when I took a look at it, uh, I immediately got on my computer and emailed Dave and said, you're not getting this back. You know, I'm like, I'm happy. I'm totally pleased with this. I mean, this is a beautiful guitar and it has an extremely bright tone to it that I like. And uh, next feels good. Action's good on it. You know, it's just it's a really nice looking guitar. And this is the relic that he did for me. You know, on the Telly style, the 50s type of uh, color, uh, the Bixby uh, bridge. And, you know, several years ago, I would have not been interested in buying a guitar like this because I was kind of stuck in that Telecaster, Stratocaster, Stratocaster mode. But, you know, over the years, I've been, you know, just kind of being a little more open mind to, you know, trying some different guitars and different things because, uh, you know, Different guitars sound different. They feel different. You know, because out of all of my guitars, this one, along with the uh, Felix the Cat guitar, has the best action. I mean, this thing is extremely low, and it feels very good to play. And this is a guitar that I've taken to the studio a couple of times and did solos. And uh, these artists that's doing demos and trying to, you know, get uh, contracted with some record deals. And uh, one in particular artist said... Uh, you know, I want to kind of go old school on this one. Could you, uh, you know, listen to the track and put together a solo? I'm like, no problem. So I listened to it, came up with a pretty decent solo, and I brought this guitar because the action's really low. And, you know, for when I do solos, I like to have a guitar that has extremely low action. So it feels good to play as opposed to pressing down on the strings and just, you know, struggling. Because I think most would agree that the more comfortable your guitar is, the better you play. You know, when it doesn't feel good, you just can't get in that mode or or uh, that zone to just really well out a solo or just, you know, do some good rhythm. So uh, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, I love the Tele little neck thing. And this one has an even smaller neck than the Telecaster because uh, I'm just, I got a thing for headstocks. You know, if it's the headstock is kind of ugly, I kind of won't bother the guitar, I won't touch it. But uh, this is my favorite headstock. You know, Dave, again, just outdid himself on this particular guitar. And I like the fact that he's attention to detail that uh, he has matching colors on top of the knobs corresponding with the color of the guitar. So Dave takes a lot of, uh, you know, time as far as putting in some really nice detail and just doing a really good job overall. Okay, this is the last one. I think I got a couple of more back there, but uh, I don't want to run over my time. It all started with this guitar. I seen it on eBay. It's a salmon color guitar, not to be confused with pink, because this is pink. This is salmon. And uh, it's extremely hard to find a salmon color guitar. So I kind of want to have a 60s type of vibe going with this particular guitar. And uh, when I first bought it off of eBay for about 40 bucks, the guy that sold it to me was pretty honest case that, uh, you know, the guitar needs a lot of work. The action on it is terrible, you know, and, you know, just it's for somebody who wants to kind of fix her up, quote unquote. I said, no problem. So uh, I got it. Uh, he was right. The action in the neck on it was awful. The action was so high, I could literally put my fingers up under it. So uh, I sent it to Dave and said, you know, I really want a good neck on this and uh, want that action to come down. And uh, when I got it back, I was just totally Im impressed and pleased because this one has some nice, nice light weight to it. And then I kind of added to kind of the 60s thing. And, uh, you know, this is the first guitar that I got from Dave that, uh, you know, that he put this type of neck on it. And I said, from this point on, give me more of these types of necks. Even though the Felix has a uh, natural 
uh, finish and not an antique yellow. You know, but uh, this neck feels good. This is one of my favorite guitars to play. You know, it physically feels light and good to play in. Just the action was pretty good and it just feels good. So that's going to wrap that up, wrap this video up. And I uh, hope this was entertaining and informative. Until next time, take care.